Hello and welcome back to this blind let's play of Trails, not Trials. Trails in the Sky with me, SLJRPG. In the last episode, we did took care of some business in Purcell Farm. In today's episode, we're going to do all of these side quests. So it's Brace of Business. Once again, I thought I'd start it on the sanctuary up there. So we've got Mushroom Hunt, Medical Necessities, and Soldier Training. So, these should now all be inside of our lovely Bracer Notebook. So, this has got Mesa Class's request. First, I'm looking for a rare mushroom that only grows in the reap, where there are re rich deposits of septum in the ground. Should be a fun, easy job. Come speak to me. My name is Orvid and I'll be waiting at the landing port. So, let's go speak to Orvid. Yeah, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna number all the side quests as Bracer Business on the YouTube channel. So it'll be like Bracer Business One, Bracer Business Two, etc. Of it, darn bracers! How long do they intend to keep me waiting? If they don't hurry, get here. I'm going to miss my flight. I would have expected as much from a rural backwater burg like this. Huh? Well, I'll be. That's the Bracer emblem, if I'm not mistaken. I've been waiting for you to show up. I have an urgent job. So do you have some time to hear my request? Listen. Sure, we got some time. Great, this really helps me out a lot. Alright, let me give you a rundown and explain the details. Let me formally introduce myself. I am Orvid, representative for Orvid Co. Limited. I'm Estelle and this is Joshua, nice to meet you. Estelle and Joshua, so the two of you are quite young if I do say so myself. Uh, we're actually pretty new to this whole bracer thing. Greenhorns? Oh well, I guess I'll have to do one. Pardon? Never mind, I was just talking to myself. Right, let's get down to business. Please excuse my lack of decorum. I'm a bit in a bit of a hurry. Sure. At the moment, I'm looking for a rare mushroom called the Firefly Fungus. It's said it only grows in the soil rich with septum. There are records of it being picked here in Roland, but no shop seems to carry it. However, it's a vital necessity that I get my hands on one, so I put it in and requested the guild house. Saw which was septum. Hmm. Can only think of the Malga Trail as a possible location. Do you have any other characteristics of these mushrooms? It seems they normally grow in areas with patches of grass. However, it's, since it is buried in the dirt, it, if you don't look closely, you won't find it. Jeez, this sounds like one that's going to be a pain. But once you dig one up, you'll know if it's a firefly fungus or not. For one thing, it glows a light green color. So it's got a firefly fungus. Well, that makes sense. Alright, I've explained things clearly enough to you. So basically, all we need to do is find this glowing mushroom in the patch of grass in the magma trial, right? Looks that way to me. Well... If they're really growing in the ground, we'll probably more about, we won't be able to find one so easily. If you run into trouble, come back and speak with me again. I should find one as soon as possible. So, there we go. Let us head to the Malga Trail. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do all of the side missions at once. That was what the Reddit seems to assume should be good. So we need to find ourselves some grass. We'll do some battles whilst we're here. I'm looking to open up as many slots as I can, really, in the shortest amount of time possible. And we are definitely getting a bit stronger now. And, can you say no to this tune? I'm guessing there will be something that we'll have to fight in order to get this uh, this trail, this uh, mushroom. Hmm. We'll just do a fireball. That's okay. That's going to be a crit anyway. Not that I think we're going to need it, but there we go. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> this this soundtrack. This thing's so good. Honestly, this uh, this music is amazing. Right. Yeah. 
So we need to get a Stealth one up next. Next open ball slot. We've got the information one on Josh, but he's uh, not been so great so far. Right. Can we see any glowing green mushrooms? A reviving bomb, though. Where is this mushroom? So it's the Malga Mine. Then we've got the tower here. And it should only be where there's grass. Oop. These buggy things are not as strong, but as you see, we've got the information. Uh, once we learn a bit more, so we know we're likely to get two earth, two green, and a savory pinion. He's just going to attack Stell, which is fine. you grass that is the question uh, we shall certainly use a regular attack on this guy I'm still unsure what Seraphith plus means um, <laughs> but that's fine uh, we're going to just use a craft onto this guy and he's missed anyway Nice, so let's use a dual strike again. Easily done. Not sure exactly where we we're meant to be going. This says to the Malga Mine, right? Let's get rid of one of these. Into strikes. Boom. I think getting rid of the enemy is always a better idea. Let's do an aqua bleed. They're going to attack Josh. No. Okay. Yeah, I love this so much. And then with this crit, we should be fine. Yeah, there we go. And we got enough for her pummel attack. At a later point. <sighs> I'll let you see this one. I need to heal Josh up actually. So we're going to do that right now. Although I do need to get more EP. It would be nice. Maybe I should just heal up in general. <laughs> and then we got an airstrike here. And he's got a heal. You can attack Estelle now. I'll get Estelle to heal herself. But that's fine. Let us use this craft dual strike onto. We'll do this one. Because that will work nicely there. Estelle, if you can use your... I haven't got any more thing. Use an item. Use a jewel, mate. Oh, God. Wrong person. 
God damn it. Alright, we might not be so lucky now. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, bollocks. That's really annoying. But not the end of the world. Right. Let's attack it. Oh, God. I'm still learning the game, guys. That's the excuse I'm going to give. attack again. And that should be enough. Right. I'm going to head back and heal in that case. And I will see you guys back here in a moment. Right. We're going to check up here first. See if there's anything. These things aren't particularly wanting to attack us anymore. But I knew there was grass up here. So maybe there's some near the tower. I also did open up uh, Estelle's new orbit, so she's currently got the defense orbit in, so she's got a new attack, I believe, a new art called Stone Hammer. But we're not going to use that right away. We're just going to attack on through. We'll attack this guy. You were one. You were one shot on these a while back, mate. What's happened? It's all right. We can just boom. And zero. Is that because she's got the defense? Her defense stats too high. Because that would be very good if so. Yep, you can go ahead. Boom. That's that. Let's move out. I need more green. Serapith, if that's what it's called. Right. Mushrooms around here. Any mushrooms? Not by the looks of it. Okay, so I think it's probably best for us to head back to where we were. With these weaker enemies, I will fight some of them, but I'm not going to bore you with all of that. The bugs I definitely do want to get though, because I know that they sometimes produce green, so here we go. And they're still coming at us, so that must mean something, right? Right, let's attack. Nice, and we can two-shot them, which is always handy. I feel like there will be a cutscene or something where we get to see. Let's do a dual strike onto that one. Nicely, nicely done. And I suppose you can see now with this, you can see more of the information. Which is what that particular augment is doing for us, which is always handy. I also went and bought some uh, more food from the bar, so we can start learning some more recipes. Because I think that'll be handy. I think we got some, we got some more French fries. I got a soda. I got something else as well. But I'm not going to use them until necessary, right? Right, Ted. So we were here last time. That's it, one shot them. That's what we need. Dual Strike is just so handy, but I suppose we can keep um, we can keep Estelle on doing the other such stuff. Um, we can keep her craft points for her main attack. Let's have a look at Stone Hammer, because why not? Ah, oh, yes. Now you miss. That's fine, it's fine. We will do a dual strike, not onto this one, but onto this one. Yeah. 
I mean, I like the animation. Maybe I should eat some of this new food in one momento. There we go. And we shall attack. All good. Can we get a heal. And she's got a craft for the next thing. I might save that just in case there's an enemy. Right. Search in the grass. Ah, here we go. Ah, what's the sudden outburst? I found it. Now to claim our prize. Isn't that... You think so too? The place is growing up. Seems about right. And it's got that soft green yellow. It has to be the fire fire fungus what's his face we're talking about. You mean orphid, right? Yeah, that's what I meant. It doesn't look that tasty, but... I'm pretty sure for a mushroom. Almost like a glowing septum, if you ask me. Septium? What's up, Joshua? I may be worrying too much, but I think you better put that mushroom in your bag quickly, Estelle. What the... Just like I figured. Mushroom attracts. Look out. These aren't too strong. I mean, unless they're super beefy ones, but we shall see. Oh, yeah, they're not at all. We're all good. The fire of water. Water bending. Let's just attack. That was a surprise, I tell you. Did you put the thing away? Yep, it's all taken care of. The light emanated by raw septum has the power to attract monsters. This mushroom also seems to have the same effect. That sneaky merchant. He never mentioned a single thing about this. Anyway, let's hurry back to town. Right. Just wait till I get some hands on you, conniving merchant. Let's get this first. A white bracelet. We shall equip that on to... Let's do that. And then... I will see you guys back in the town. Okay, so we're back here. Let's go speak to Orvid. What's that you say? You found the mushroom? Yep, we found it, alright. Oh, wonderful. But it might be different from the one we heard about from you. You see, this mushroom attracts monsters. Oh, well, it's like this. So, even though you knew the risk, you hired us for a job, Ovid. How was I supposed to know something like that? And besides, it's a brace's job to deal with danger, right? Well, a little heads up would have been nice, so we could have at least prepared. Never mind us. The big question here is your motive. What do you intend to use this mushroom for? Yeah, this thing could be a weapon. Fess up, you had some big old nefarious plan of mine, right? A nefarious mushroom plan. Ah, <sighs> isn't it obvious what I'm going to use it for? For cooking, of course. What? Cooking? Are you trying to tell me people actually eat this thing? This is why it's such a pain to deal with country bumpkins. In the hands of a skilled chef, this is most distinct ingredient has... The more distinct the ingredient, the more profound the taste. And from that perspective, the Firefly Fungus is the king of them all. This is no doubt the ultimate ingredient. So pretty much what you're saying is it's for people with bizarre eating habits? <laughs> that's quite... Talk of... that That's the talk of one unacquainted with true delicacy. Then again, commoners such as Rochelle should never have the opportunity to try such dishes. And praises be for that. I'll never want to gnaw on a ratty green mushroom like that. Agreed, it looks pretty nasty. Anyway, I have other business preparations to make. Now, if you don't mind, I'll ask if you hand over the mushroom and leave. Yes, please take it. On behalf of this mushroom, I shall turn a blind eye to your ignorance. And I promise I will pay you, so be grateful to your client. Nobody's gonna buy that mushroom, I hope you know. Come on, Joshua, let's go. Excuse us, we'll be going now. Yes, please do. There we go. Let's go back to the Braces Guild. 
and collect our reward. I'm going to do all of the side quests now in one go. That's what it told me I should be doing, so that's what I'm going to do. Also, it just means that we kind of segment them into one section, which I kind of like anyway. Report. We've got three. We're just eighth class still. Good work. Right, so what should we be doing now? Orbant replacement. I'm looking for someone to replace a malfunctioning orbant in the light in the road lamp off Milch Main Road. So, let's go look into the orbant. Melder's Orbital Factory. Do you think you'd be able to ask to replace an orbant light in the road? Except, just leave it to us. If I'm with us doing a job, well, then we'll gladly accept. Thanks. Blue forgot. You need to replace it today. First off, I need to give you the replacement part. This is a replacement ornament? That's right. I want you to place the ornament light in the road lamp number six on Milt Road to the west. It's the sixth road lamp that you'll come across counting from Roland's west entrance. Make sure you get the right one. I think I've got it. The sixth road lamp on Ryan's west entrance. Once you've found the lamp, you need to open the thing. You need a six digit combination to open it. Are you serious? Yes, the combination is 5448818. I am writing that down. <laughs> I think that's probably for the best. 5448818. Cool. I'm sorry, but could you repeat that? It's 4544818. That's right, good memory. Show off. After the combination end of the panel, after that, you'll have to replace the ornament. It seems a simple task, but make sure you don't mess it up. The red lamp may have been out of work for a while now. I see. The light of ornaments keeps the large monsters away, right? It's not much more than an unconscious dislike for them, but if they do go out, then we have real problems. Which way? I'm asking you to do this job, just in case. These road lamps are just placed off to the road in areas where monsters are likely to appear. We'll just leave those monsters to me and I'll take care of them. But I better write down the combination before I get. Then maybe you should let me deal with the combination instead. Leave it up to you two to divide the work amongst yourselves. This should be everything you need. Good luck. If you need to double check or cancel drop, come talk to me again. We're all good. Can I get impede? I can get impede now. I think that is the one that I don't have. Apart from EP cut and blind. But I... A okay with me. Let's get ourselves this. And we can't open any slots, can we? No, not quite yet. Three each sounds good. Right. Let's make our way. So the sixth one in. I haven't seen any lights yet. Are these lights? From already said, I think this is the road lamp. Fairly certain this is the right one too. It says road lamp number six on the panel as well. You're right, it does. Alrighty then, let's get to work and finish the job. Unfortunately, it may not be that easy. What do you mean? These things, always getting in the way. Where all these monsters come from, it looks like the ornament is burned out. Anyway, one of us will need to fend off these monsters while the other will replace the ornament. Yeah, you're right. Well then. But alright, if you say so. I'm counting on you. Got it. We're all good. We're strong. My reasoning there is that I think I might be able to get more bracer points from a uh, from a stair do we? Because we all have to input the code. Nicely done. We're just gonna dual strike the hell out of these now. Okay, we don't even need to do that. <laughs> Okay. 
we're all good. I'm looking forward to there being, um, there being, uh, what's the word? Being multi-enemy strikes. Augments that will allow me to, like, attack more than one would be very handy. Oh, it takes care of the first wave. How come? How's it coming, Estelle? I'm entering the combination for the maintenance banner right now. I'm pretty sure the code was... Ah. It's open. Sometimes I'm too smart for my own good. I'm okay here, Estelle. Just focus on fixing the light. Got it. Now for the orb room, which goes in like that, and voila. Perfect. Good work, Estelle. All the monsters seem to have gone to. Phew. I'm sure I'll get stressed out over this job. Considering the circumstances seem pretty reasonable to me. But the thing that surprises me the most is that you remember the combination. Do you want to know the truth? I actually just saw a jumble of numbers in my head, and the buttons I haven't pressed were the right ones. I should have figured as much. You're something else. Anyway, I drove down this area, so let's just think about something else. I guess you're right. Alright, how about we head back to town? We better go report to Freddy. Alright, let's go. And I will see you back in town. Here we are back in the factory. Let's speak to... We're back, Freddy. Oh, hi, Estelle. From the looks of it, it seems like you finished the job. Yes, we did a fine job, too. Although we did a few hang-ups. We thought we'll report to you as a matter of good measure. So it really was burnt out, huh? Well, I'm sure it happened because we were late replacing it. Sorry, kids. You were put in harm's way because of me. There's no need to apologize. It comes with the territory. Dealing with dangerous jobs is part of a brace's work. I appreciate you saying that. Oh, I know. How about I give you this to make amends? To impede. This is a quartz? Yep, yeah, impede two quartz. It can prevent enemies' arts. It can be pretty useful if you use it effectively. Thanks. We appreciate it. No, thanks. Thank you both for today. Any discussing the will and stop by anytime. Don't forget to swing by if you have any business needs. That is a stronger opener than what we've got before, right? Ooh. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. I will take that. I'm gonna give that to Josh. I'm giving him the wind stuff, it just seems to fit. Right, let's go report this. Yes, we've got an extra BP. Good work. Right. Let's see what is next on the agenda. I should put my keys. So we've got medical necessities. Client Father Divine, I'm searching for a flower known as the Bear Cure and a savory opinion. The former is native to the forest of Mistbold, south of Ronit. The latter comes from insect like monsters. Anyone who finds these items, please come see me at the chapel. So, I will go speak to him at the chapel now, but we may need to go to the forest, which is a new area south of the thing. Father Divine. When souls touched by Binding Light, it becomes. especially those who are tormented by the sins of their past. However, through this ordeal, one can understand the pain of suffering of others and reach a great plane of insight. What important individual preparing the future and deciding about what one wants to do? Ugh, just listening to him makes my brain hurt. Father Divine Summer is always difficult for me to understand. Ah, so I need to go get them anyway. So I need to. There is. I need to get the items first. So we've already got the savory pinion. So let's make our way south here to the forest. There might be some more dangerous monsters here, I am aware. So we need to be careful. So, forest. Oh, let's get a bug. And we shall definitely use the craft. Nicely done. That's annoying, <laughs> but not the end of the world. We'll do another craft. These bracer missions really do give me a chance to kind of, um... I know, it fleshes out the world, which is good. But then it also allows me to, uh... Get used to the battle system. 
which is ultimately going to be very handy. I really want these bugs so I can open up more augment slots. <laughs> uh, right. I'm actually just going to go to his because we'd be able to one shot one. And we're going to do the art of Firebolt. And then, you guessed it, what we're going to do, Dual Strike. I wonder when we're going to learn more, like, crafts, whether that comes to leveling up or if there's specific items. There has already been books here, I've seen. Um, so maybe that's the key. I should make sure that I'm looking in all the areas, just in case there's... Thing. No, right. What in God's name is that? Okay, that's a new enemy. Mars Sparrow. That felt like it made the most sense. And then we'll use the stealth just to keep it up. If they're strong, we're better off keeping it that way. But I should heal, I think, fairly soon. Okay, I should have healed. <laughs> That's fine. Let's take out one. And just pray they don't attack, us, attack Josh. Which is good. We can take that and then we'll heal Estelle afterwards. <sighs> After she has done a. Actually, we'll just have her attack. Save and think with two, they're not going to be able to do anything. Let's go for the weak one. Oh, it's annoying. I didn't necessarily want to use that right away. But it's okay. It's all good. This forest is very far south. But we got a shit ton of green there, which is always good. Right, let us eat some Carmine Eyes. We shall use it on Estelle. And use some french fries. It's that bird thing there. Let's take it on. Nice! Very efficiently done. If I do say so myself. And they give us some of that uh, black serpith, which is of course very, very handy. Let's 
Especially if we can get used the crit here to our advantage. There we go. Then I'm actually going to use Jewel Strike against this guy. I'm learning. I'm learning, guys. <laughs> and then we'll use this one. We're up to soon be leveling up, it seems. And it was Miss World we were meant to be going to, right? Yes. So, let us go to Miss World. AI seems to be focused on Estelle at all points, which of course isn't great, but... Good. I will take that. Should have healed. Definitely should have healed. We're going to heal now. Chanting furiously. Oh. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it could be. So I will take that. We're going to attack this guy. Oh. That's fine, it's fine. That's fine. That's fine too. Right, you are going to attack this guy. That's annoying. <laughs> That's actually really annoying. But we'll stick to our plan. Hopefully, this one doesn't target. Oh, God damn it. God damn it, that's actually really frustrating. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm using up so I can, uh, I can best be served. So I don't have to worry about all the attacks. Right, I'm gonna make my way back to town. I'll see you guys in a sec. Right, we're back here at the wood. These things, I've discovered how to deal with them. You've just got to preemptively attack them both. Which is fine with us. So, 
we've luckily got 10 strength here, so this should take out this guy. And then we can just attack here. I mean, they attack hard, don't get me wrong. But it's not actually the end of the world. And these things definitely aren't stronger than they were. So that's all good. The movement things are annoying, of course. But hey, uh, let us do an art here. We'll do a fire bolt to this guy. Easily take care of that guy. I'm keeping a pummel just in case we come up against a um, a large amount of uh, those um, like owl sparrow things. Is that what they are? It's annoying that you get to crit hit, but that's fine. We just heal up. I should probably look what we were trying to search for. I've forgotten. <laughs> also, we're about to level up soon, I think. Yep, so we're level 8 now. Estelle has learned Hurricane. So I'm guessing that's another S type skill. Let's heal. Can I, if I go down here, can I use this? I can. That's very handy. Right. And what is it that I'm looking for? A bear claw. Okay. Okay. Nice. I'll take the chanting furiously. It's annoying. That's frustrating, but it's not the end of the world. It's one down. Not the end of the world, because we heal anyway, and then Aqua Bleed. And then it should be just up to Josh you are here, and Estelle, to clean up the scraps. So, but we are looking for a bear claw, which feels like something that we're going to have to fight for. <laughs> feels like we're going to have to fight a bear. Right. Let's use that tier skill again and just make sure that we're in as tip -a top shape as we can be. Are these going to be too strong for us? Okay, they are strong, but that's fine. We get the levels up, guys. Oh, come on, man. And we got the poison, but I'm pretty sure we got stuff for that. Firebolt is the answer here. And that should do away with one of them, surely. Yes, okay, fine. We resist. Okay. Does the status keep on? What are these?
Forest Mist. Okay, they're going to be arts only enemies, aren't they? Attack delay. Okay, that's annoying as fuck. <laughs> but that's again, once again, fine. We will do a airstrike against these and then we'll figure it out from here. We're going to get a crit. Joshua, which is good. Nicely done. And we learned a hurricane when we leveled up, so that must... That's a craft move, by the looks of it. And we've got a gummy eyeball. Which is not exactly what we're looking for, but that's fine. We can get some preemptive attacks on these. All good with me. Right. Nice. We'll use Firebolt against this guy. And let's find this bear claw. These episodes might be slightly longer than the other rest of the episodes. I mean, I don't really know yet what the episodes are going to be like uh, lengthwise. But I th what I think this does is, whilst doing these, if we try and do them in sections, it's just a lot easier. Yeah, this is so much better for our leveling. Holy crap! Right, we're going to come back from this strong. Found a tear bomb. Handy ish, but what we're really after is a bear claw. This is the thing we faced before, right? It is. Okay, the pine plant. And you want to stay as far away from it as you can. I remember. And there's the bear claw. Right, I will see you guys back at the monastery. So, we're back here in the cathedral. With the items for Father Divine. Well, if it isn't still, you seem to be cheerful mood as always. Here we go. These are for you, Father Divine. This is the bear claw and the savory print you were looking for. Please use them as medicinal ingredients. You requested these for the guild, right? That's right, I did put in a request. I'm surprised that you went all the trouble to do this for me. Weren't you hurt trying to gather these? Nope, we were totally fine. Not true. I mean, we were fine. Well, maybe minus totally part. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm worried about your attitude, Estelle. Uh, why? There's absolutely nothing to be worried about. I told you this before. It's certainly a joyous occasion when everything goes well. However, it's the times when you should grind, gird up our loins for the trials that lie ahead. Okay, I'll be more careful from now on, since I have to bid spare time. How about I take this opportunity to give you a special sermon? No, anything but that. I'm sorry, Father, we really gotta get going. You got well left to do, right, Joshua? Why do we always have to bring me into this? Please excuse us, Father, but we have to get back to the guild. Too bad. However, since you have to do your job, I must respect your position. Thank you all for your hard work, Estelle. I pray the goddess will always be with you. There we go. So, we've helped out Roulette with the medical necessities. We've got ourselves some things. And then one more job left of this little section, which is. Whoa, where are you? There you are. Soldier training. Soldiers station Verte Bridge are set to undergo special training and are looking for a few good men or women to play the parts of enemy soldiers. If you're up to the cast, contact 
Chief Warrant Officer Ashton at Verte Checkpoint, east of the main road. So, let's make our way there. I actually know what it is, but first things first. Let's... We did a lot of leveling there. So let's see if we can open up some more slots. So, already open. We got four... Hmm. We can definitely get one of these. We, sh we shall get now. And then we need the bind. Oh, it's just slightly off for... No! <laughs> That's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, all good. But we will open a slot. Let's open a slot for Estelle, because she's got most of the healing magic. Let's go for... This one. And we shall give her a new augment. We're going to do that one. So she's also going to have a, the full range of attacks. Right. I'm going to go use heal, and then I'll see you guys at the bridge. I should probably mention that the bridge is at the very end of this path. This is what I've discovered previously, but I'll see you guys there. Right, here we are. Private Scott, I'm stuck here standing today, but travel is incredibly sparse. Man, I'm so bored. Well, it's through time I've started to find shapes in the clouds as they pass by. Let's find the people. No checkpoint here, travellers. All I can hear is the babbling of the river and chirping of the songs. It's way more relaxing than the farm I worked before. I can see why you need the help, good sir, of the checkpoint. This is the right one, isn't it? Ah, there is a door here. Let's all enter it. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua too. Hello, Mr. Ashton. It's been a while since we last met. Yes, it has. So, I've heard my boy Lucas caused you a lot of trouble, did he? I'm absolutely ashamed as a father. Well, I'm pre pretty sure it's perfectly immoral for a boy of age to be naughty like that. I mean, even I ran around outside the town when I was young. Yeah, but you're supposed to be a girl. That's bullshit. Gen stereotypes don't mean a thing. Fuck that. Anyway, haha, you're certainly full of energy as well. I'll love to get you to share that vigor with my new recruits. I've been thinking recently about doing a simulated battle with my men into shape. So I put a request at the guild for a few good men or women to play the part of enemy soldiers. I think the pair of you would be perfect fit for jobs, so how can you? So how about it? Can you do this for me? Accept. Sure, we'll do it. We'll gladly accept. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and take a break until preparations are ready. If you don't have... I don't... If I don't have you in tip-top condition, then there's no point to training. I'm ready for an afternoon nap. Alright then, let's get ourselves ready. Sure, please do what you need to do. So it looks like we're going to be fighting up against some recruits. Alright, journey begins now. Everyone, advance five steps forward. Ready yourselves. I know I spoke for her, but... I know I was just training and all, but this still scares the living daylights out of me. Alright, this is training site. Refrain from speaking. You all need to take this seriously, as if it was a real battle. Stell and Joshua, you don't need to hold back on my men. That was my intention from the beginning. We'll do as you request. Yikes. Forward. Right. We'll isolate one. They don't seem that strong, which is good. Paintball. 63, but we resist. All good. Let's take out Royal Army Soldier here. Easily done. Let's 
let's show them what arts are about. The us see you do a soul blur. <laughs> nice. Didn't even need it. Piece of cake. You said it, not me. Cease fighting. This training is over. Good job, everyone. Can I say pathetic? Are you guys supposed to be soldiers? Hey, be quiet! We're not feral kids like you. How about you try and say that one more time? Knock it off, Scott. The training is over. You seriously need to cool down too, Estelle. I hate sore losers. Private Scott, Private Harold. I think Estelle said just a moment ago, it's how the citizens of this region really feel. Do you really have what it takes to protect them? Seems though you both need to take another look in the mirror. Yes, sir. Very good. Do not forget you what you've learned today and strive to fulfill your duties. Thanks for the hard work today. Thanks to you, I think my soldiers have gotten the wake-up call they needed. There's no need to thank us. It's us who should be thanking you. That was excellent training. I agree. It was a good learning experience. If you think so, you are ready for set for life, Obvious Braces. Though your positions may be different, we are both here to serve the public. Although I can't do much else, I pray successful both of you. Sure, thanks again. Take care of yourself. And I will. I hope to see you again sometime. I'll take that. Can I use your facilities? I cannot. Right, that's fine. Let's head our way back to the guild. There's actually one thing I want to do. There's like a pom-pom thing that appears here, but it seems to not respond well to elemental attacks. It seems to block them. And with Josh, with that topaz thing, he means that his attacks are elemental, which is why he's doing so much more damage than normal. But I would like to actually kill one of these things because they look like they have a good amount of experience and ser serpuff, serif, serpuff. But they flee very quickly, so I think I need to wait a second. Yes, we know. There's a bridge here. Let's have a quick gander around. There's just a bug, but we're not too bothered about that. I want my pom-pom thing. <laughs> Give to me my pom-pom thing. This is going to say up to personal farm, isn't it? It was on this road. I think we've encountered one in an episode before. There we are. Right. We're going to get it. I'm gonna get one. Wait right there, I'm gonna get one. Actually no, I'm gonna get one in the next step. I'll get one in between episodes. And if it's that interesting, I'll let you know. But I just have a feeling that it's gonna be, gonna be quite good to get myself one of those. But let's go back and report, first and foremost. And I would say that successful second day as braces. I've no idea how long this episode is, but there you go. Let's report the final one. And we gain two. Good work. And that is everything so far. I will take that. All right, if you've enjoyed Bracer Business Mark II, um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time where we tackle. Whatever the mayor wants to do us to do, peace.